What is up, world? It's that boy being hurt back once again in the kitchen, you dig? And today we finna do up some chicken. But it's a, 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 a trending thing right now that everybody is doing. Mustard chicken. Fried, mustard fried chicken. So it's only right. I go ahead and jump in him and go ahead and knock it out and show him how I do it. So today we got for the seasonings, we got some toning seasoning, got some accent, some uh, garlic powder, onion powder, garlic and herb, some red pepper, and this one might surprise y'all, some brown nutmeg. And so we finna kick it off. First you gotta put your mustard on there. So you gotta shake that mustard. Make sure you don't have no lip. Watery mustard. Shake it up real good. And just squeeze your goodly generous portion on there. They got about eight legs in you know? These are jumbo legs. I don't too much like this big chicken like that, but hey. Finna cook it today. And um. Uh, let me get my hands messed right quick because I don't have a tripod. I gotta go give me another one. So I won't have to keep stopping the video on y'all, but I'll be right back. Now I got all of the mustard rubbed in real good. Now we're gonna go in with the seedless. So only saturates first. Then we're going with the garlic powder. Yeah, I gotta give me another tripod, y'all. This ain't it. This ain't what's happening. Uh, onion powder. I put a little kind of generous portion so it, it, when you mix it all up, you can mix it well. But this Tony got about to sneeze again. <laughs> it give me every time. Now here go the garlic and herb. Now this is a real good flavor filler right here too. This garlic and herb season. Put a whole lot of this, just a bit, you know what I'm saying? It give it a little something extra. Now let me get this mixed up. Be right back. And there it is. Got the chicken all seasoned up. And then I got this Ziploc bag. I'm gonna put it in. Let it sit in the refrigerator and marinate. And I just want to speak on this. Uh, not trying to brag at all, but I've been doing this. I didn't know it was such a big thing, but yeah, I've been putting mustard on my chicken before I grill it or fry it. I put mustard on mine because it's a good binder for your seasoning and it opens up the pores of the meat and allows the, season, the seasoning to get into your meat, down to the bone. So, not trying to brag at all, you guys. And I just seen my sister do it. Um, let's cook with ease. Y'all go over to her channel. She did it real big. She did the uh, the batter and everything. I'm just doing seasoned flour. Just doing flour and fry. It. And but yeah, she cooks a lot of lot of good things in restaurant quality. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a bit home cook. 
but she does the restaurant quality style, you know. And uh, that's less cook with ease. Y'all go over there and 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 and, 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 uh, and uh, support her. You know what I'm saying? All right, be back. All right, now y'all, we gonna get our flour together. You know you gotta season your flour. You gotta season every level of your food when you cooking. So all right, we going first. Excuse me. We going first with some um, garlic powder. Then we going with some red pepper. I like my my uh fried chicken a little spicy. Going in with the Tony season. Tony's. What y'all know about that Tony? That's good. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put y'all on game by something else too. What y'all know about this? Can y'all see that? Bacon powder. Put you about a tablespoon of bacon powder in this flour too. And that's gonna help the chicken be real, real crispy. Now I'm finna get this all mixed up in the bag and next step we gonna be frying y'all. All right, y'all. I got my chicken in the bag, my three pieces on the first rip. Get them ready to go and fry. Shake off the excess. Lamb in the basket. channel and tell Big Hurt how he did and y'all try this recipe and Big Hurt on the checkout yeah yeah